Welcome back, we're here looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, August 2nd, 2022. If you like support channel, we're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's start by looking at the NASDAQ and as you can see, we, still, we are basically continuing where we left off on Friday. Uh, we are up roughly... Uh, uh, 0.34% at this current stage, we are fairly overstretched at this point. So a kind of pullback would make sense uh, as we are also running into an area of massive resistance. But even though economic data that is coming out is not uh, very favorable for the market, the market is extremely resilient again towards the, uh, the that bad news. So it may well be that um, the economic downturn has already been priced in. So the fall that we've seen here, uh, roughly uh, 35% when it was the most, is probably uh, the market already pricing in a minor recession. So from now and basically the rest of the year, we may see this market rally. We are approaching the 200 moving average. Last time we tested that, the market completely fell apart. apart. But, but this area here, the lows uh, in the end of March and the highs of and those little highs here in, in, in May, that's an area where we should uh, find a lot of resistance. We are testing that area, pulling back just ever slightly. But as I said, we are way outside of the bullish band. So pull back towards the 20 simple moving average, which is down here at the 12.2K. Uh, that would make sense before going higher. That would give us the... Uh, basically uh, the rally that we need in order to go higher. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish. Stochastic is uh, also bullish. I was just crossing the signal line, but still in positive territory. And the RSI is bullish as well, but on the edge of being overbought. So nearly overbought and overstretched and running into an area of resistance. Uh, that is kind of uh, a, a sign that a pullback is needed before going higher. But we have basically been buying or the market has been buying these pullback ever since we tested the 200 moving average in the weekly chart. So let's look at the S&P 500. Very similar here. We are up 0.10% at this current stage, running into the same resistant area of the highs in, in March and the, the high, lows in March and the highs in, in May. And uh, it may take a while before we uh, we go higher 50 moving average is turning around and we will most likely see the 50 do something similar to this and, and we're going to, to pull back from here then it's very likely that we'll basically rally from the 50 and this will also make the rsi go down as it is on the edge of being overbought so going towards the 200 moving average that is fairly plausible as we have had this really uh, bullish run recently. We could be still be in a bear market, that is plausible, but this market, uh, not the S&P, but NASDAQ has given a lot of, uh, basically this year, roughly 35%, which is usually a uh, small recession. So kind of looking at this, if we basically bounce from the 50 moving average, then the 200 moving average comes basically into play. Breaking below that, then we may head back to the very lows. Other technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is also bullish, and RSI is also bullish. So momentum is definitely to the upside, but we are getting very overstretched at this point. So let's look at the Dow Jones. Very similar here. We have a, basically a top and we have a bottom. We are basically inside of this area, the lows of March, the highs of May. 200 moving average moving in this direction. Need to break that over again. Moving in this direction. And pull back towards the 50 moving gauge, which is at 31.6. That is kind of, uh, would make sense at this, at this point that we'll pull back and then head towards the 200 moving average. If we manage to break uh, through this, break it below the 50, then that opens the door down to 30.1 and then to 29.6. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish on our side. So it's bullish, 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 and we're on the edge of being overbought at 68. So let's look at the European market. They have basically formed a shooting star at this current stage. 
not a good sign for the European market. But also here, it looks like we are forming a fairly bullish channel with the highs being here and we kind of have the lows being roughly around this area here. So we did go below this channel but rallied quite significantly up towards the top, back down and now we're approaching the top yet again and getting pulled back down. So it may well be that we will see something similar to this going forward and heading towards the 200 uh, moving average, which is trading at 14.6 at this current stage. There's nothing really in the way here. We had the lows here, but we kind of broken through that. So considering that we have been rallying from the very bottom, uh, it would make sense that we pull back also here in the DAX before going higher. Breaking below this channel, opposite door to the 20 simple moving average at 13K and then the back towards the very lows. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is still bullish, just crossing the signal line in positive territory, and RSI is flat. So momentum is kind of running out, and we are, it looks like we are creating a shooting star, and that is usually a, a bearish shine that we will have a pullback at some point. So let's look at the uh, Nikkei, and we are struggling in this area. We did rally yet again today up towards 28K and then gave most of those gains back. It looks like technical indicators are turning around. MACD is still bullish, but is leveling off. Stochastic has crossed the signal line in bullish in positive territory, and RSI is bearish at this point. So 200 moving average has offered massive support and uh, resistance in the past. We can see it here. We also see it here. And now we are also struggling at the same level. So if we were to break below the 200 moving average, then the 25.5 down here should be where we find the bottom as this is where we have basically dropped down uh, when we have basically fallen so after this we may rally yet again we kind of begun sideways in this market for quite some time but breaking below here that opens the door back towards the very lows here so if you look at the VIX VIX is not up that much. We went towards 24.17 and then gave most of those gains back. But 200 moving average moving in this direction, 50 moving average moving in this direction. If we get this crossing here, that is a fairly bearish shine for the VIX and fairly bullish shine for indices and also stocks. It is a negative correlation between the VIX and, and indices and stocks. So. 200 moving average has offered massive support in the past. We can see it here, here, also here. And now we have basically broken through it. And if we rally and get rejected here, then it's more likely that we'll go back towards the 20 and even probably all the way down to the very lows here, 16, 17. But we are also getting fairly oversold. MACD is still bullish. The has crossed the signal line become bearish and bullish in, in negative territory and RSI is bullish at this point at 37. So let's look at the 10 year con continues to drop and this should be a very bullish shine for for the market. So, so 10, year 10 year is down at this current stage at 2.611. And uh, 200 moving average is kind of coming into play at this at this point. If we were to uh, rally, then we have the previous lows right here, roughly at uh, uh, 2.6 towards 2.7. But rallying up towards that point, that should offer resistance, and so should the 200 20 simple moving average around this area here. So 200 moving average looks like that is where we are heading to. So going towards the 200 moving average, we could see this market go back up, dropping below here. Then we are falling off a cliff nearly. Um, 50 moving average will mostly be moving in this direction and cross the 200 moving average going forward. And that should also be a very bearish shine for this market. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button above to see our newest, newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.